Hello and welcome to the 1111 Ashtar Command Network. This is going to be a forum for discussing the issues of the planetary ascension, the Ashtar Command, and UFO abductee issues. Joining me today is Shay. How do you do, Shay? Hi, I'm fine today. How are you? Just fine. Well, today your first question from some of your audience is, what is the Ashtar Command? And what is their purpose? Okay. The Ashtar Command is a spiritual uh, group of beings that are in the higher dimensions that have been here to assist mankind throughout history. We haven't heard too much about them until recent times because of the interest in UFOs, but they have been here since the very beginning of time. And what is their purpose? Their purpose is to assist in um, this great time of need during the planetary ascension. And their purpose is to help us spiritually, to grow spiritually. Who is Ashtar? Commander Ashtar is actually the what we call the commander-in-chief of the Ashtar Command. He's the leader. And um, um, he really takes direction from uh, what we call Lord Sananda, who is actually Jesus Sananda. So Ashtar is a being that is in charge of you know, this uh, program of redemption here on the planet. When we hear the Ashtar Command, um, it doesn't really tell us exactly how big that is. How, how many ships or how many people are there involved in the personnel of the command? Well, the Ashtar Command is really very vast. It's very much like uh, the, the TV program Star Trek. If you could envision that, there is a group of beings that actually go out and, you know, assist and protect different planetary systems. And that is what the Ashtar Command is. It is made up of beings that are in the spiritual realm and also beings that are here in physical embodiment um, that telepathically communicate with the Ashtar Command. So is the Ashtar Command in the physical? Um, well, I'm in the physical. You're in the physical. Uh, so yes, it is in the physical through the expression of people that are on, on the physical plane. But the, um, the vast direction or the direction that we take, it comes from telepathic communication, also known as channeling, um, you know, communication with the Ashtar Command beings. And there are very, there's huge numbers of ships and uh, beings that work also in conjunction with what are called the Ascended Masters, which most people know from their religious teachings um, are the spiritual beings that are here assisting the planet as well. So they work in cooperation with the angelic beings and also the ascended masters. And uh, the people that are here on the planet are going through a spiritual awakening and they are realizing that they are part of this spiritual group and they recognize themselves as, um, you know, Ashtar Command ground personnel. You said that, that this planet is going through an awakening. Do you want to take some time and discuss what planetary ascension is? Okay. Um, most of us are aware that the planet is going through great change. The, uh, the changes uh, that are collectively known as the New Age that has been going on for probably about the last 20 years, there's been a, um, a more narrow focus that took place uh, two years ago, January 11th of 1992, which is what the 11-11 in the, the title of the show represents. Um, this was a, a opening, a doorway, a spiritual doorway that opened and the planet and everybody on it is moving through this doorway and it's about spiritual awakening that we're returning to our awareness of ourselves as spiritual beings and um, uh, focusing on uh, our purposes in life which has to do with lifting the earth vibrations into a much more utopic um, era called the golden age the planetary ascension is this group involvement that everybody at a soul level is being addressed. They're being contacted by their, their higher selves and by the angels and by God to let them know that it's time for them to base their lives more on spirituality rather than on the physical materiality and the negativity that we see so prevalent in our, in our life right now. Actually, the, uh, the negativity that is so prevalent on the planet is actually a symptom of the healing and the cleansing that is taking place, uh, which is also part of the ascension. In order for us to lift into the higher dimensions and to be 
um, more spiritually aware, we have to cleanse and let go of the negativities that we've held on to in our life. So it's just not the planet. Since we are on this planet, we are all experiencing our own cleansing process also. Right. And the Ashtar Command is here to assist us yes. in that transition. Yes. The Ashtar Command, um, uh, since it is kind of a, a, of a structure, it's kind of like a Peace Corps. And, it, and they have communications people, and they have engineers, and they have scientists, and they have different kinds of people in all walks of life that are both on the spiritual realm that communicate with those that are also in the physical. And their purpose is really to protect this planet from, from ourselves so that, you know, um, you know, the threat of, like, nuclear war and the, the major negativities, this will not be allowed to happen. No matter what happens, um, we will never experience a nuclear holocaust on this planet because of the intervention of the Ashtar Command. They will directly move through those people that need to be contacted and let them know that this is not acceptable, including our own government. Well, you have the title of Commander, August Star. Do you want to explain exactly what your role as a commander of the Astro Command is? Okay. The, um, the word command actually means that we are at God's command. Ashtar is our leader, our commander-in-chief, and then he has several, quote, commanders underneath him. I'm what's called a quadrant commander, which is um, I have the responsibility for a large amount of, of people and souls on the higher realms. Um, I have a group of, of ships that I am in, in communication with. And on the physical plane, that looks like the people that I assist in terms of their spiritual growth. My purpose is to reach out to those people that are sleeping ground personnel, make them aware of who they are, help them wake up to that fact, and assist them in terms of uh, regaining their spiritual power and awareness. So that's really, the, a commander is kind of a, is a spiritual um, uh, term, meaning that um, I'm at God's command, I'm an instrument of God uh, to do his bidding, to assist him in waking up hit this particular soul group. There are many different groups of light workers on the planet. There are those that associate with the angels more and some that consider themselves to be light workers. And then the Ashtar Command is a very specific kind of an ET energy, they, they resonate and identify with, um, you know, this, um, the space or the extraterrestrial energies. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't also work with the angelic realm, because I do. Uh, I work with people that, that have the influence of the angelic, um, you know, the angelic influences as well as the extraterrestrial influences. It's just that the Ashtar Command is, is more like a Peace Corps. It's much more, it's not military in the sense that, you know, of attack, but it's more structured. And the beings that are part of that have a tendency to be um, very structured in the way that they, you know, the way that they address things. We fight for truth. That's basically what it means, is we're a commander of truth. 